Hello and welcome back to another video, this is BT Plays here and today we are on the Crew Mode Fest and we are going over Legend Parts because they're a little bit complicated but they're also not, they're pretty simple once you understand them so let's just go over Legend Parts shall we? But before we get into it don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new as it does help out the channel. But how to get there? You ask, well, you can either press the big button on the PlayStation or the options button and pretty much all you do is go to profile and then once you're at profile you go to driver and then once you're at driver you have legend points and then you have up to a thousand legend points you can store and I think that's how many you can actually add in to the menus as well. And as you can see there are three categories of legend points and let's just go over each of them and let's pick out like one or two of the best things to put your legend points into. So firstly comfort, this is mainly just like, uh, it's, it's hard to explain, it's like in-game stuff so money, followers and um, you know like stuff you gain throughout races so like nitro or like if you're doing drift events like your multipliers and stuff like that so the stuff you gain actually in game pretty much so the first one we see is rich so it, that increases the crew bucks by one percent and to be fair i think this is one of the best things you can put your legend points into just because you don't really earn all that many legend points in this game uh, i mean um crew bucks in this game even from like two three minute events you only seem to get like 15,000 crew bucks and obviously now that they've taken the difficulty thing out of the game where if you up the difficulty you get more money you only get more followers now so you can't really get all that much money while playing the same events like you did in the crew 2 so there's a change there but you can obviously get plus 20% of the crew bucks, which I think is very, very good. So if you, you know, you're making like 20k for an event, you're getting an extra at least 4k, 5k on top of the crew bonuses as well. And then also um, if there's a clean driving bonus thing as well, you can also get that. So you could come to about 28, 29, 30k for you know, a short two minute event, which isn't too bad in the Crew Mode Fest. The next one we have is Legend, and it's pretty much the same as Crew Bucks, but you get more followers, and to be fair, you followers are important, but they're not as important as the Crew 2, because, you know, the Crew 2 had the timeline where you could unlock vehicles and get more icon points, whereas you can't really get more Legend parts when you level up. So the only thing it's really used for is going through the timeline and collecting the parts up to level 100 and then that's that's the, it's done. So I don't really see the point of adding too many points into the legend thing, but that's my personal opinion anyway. But I think these two are the most important things to have and maybe something like extra pump or ventilated because nitro or nitros is very very important in this game I think anyway it increases the nitro refill speed by 0.1% it's not a lot but it can get up there to uh, to be pretty good if you have obviously all 40 legend parts on it and I don't know nitros is just insanely overpowered for, for like the, the AI and um, even if you have like a little bit of it you can really go fast so nitro i think is very very important to focus on extra pump is more important than ventilated because this is only during jumps and to be fair unless you're doing like an off-road motocross or like a monster truck event you're not going to be jumping that much in street racing events so extra pump i think is also very important so for comfort i would put it on rich extra pump or legend if you are more into xp now let's get into the vehicle and this is pretty much the stuff to do with the gameplay of the vehicle i know that this is gameplay over here but this is more to do with the vehicle and the performance of the vehicle so i think the two important ones to have here are shifty and air outtake or maybe air intake as well because slipstream is also very overpowered in this game i think 
if you can increase your slipstream then you are going stupidly fast and the 5 star AI is going to be the 1 star AI very very quickly especially with the Nitros boost as well you will be smoking the AI so yeah slipstream shifty air intake or air outtake I know the um, air outtake is a little bit different increased distance detection of the drag bump by 0.25% but still it is practically the same thing in terms of speed so I mean it's not overly game changing these settings but they're still worth having if you know like if, if it, that makes any sense it's not going to break the game by having these parts and putting these parts on because let's be honest like 0.25% times by 40 I don't know I'm not doing that maths but it's like it's still very very low you're not going to like be slipstreaming past everything and everyone it's not going to be the new meta so it's not overly overpowered but it's still pretty good to have and it's a slight boost in your favour now let's get on to gameplay and this is practically the stuff that happens within events such as you know drift events like the multipliers and plane events and stuff like that and even the skills now personally I do like drift events so Hothead and Slippery have got parts on already because I do like drift events and I do want to get the max amount of points in them as well because obviously I don't know it's just a personal thing I like to try and reach for the world record even though I will never get there but it's just nice to have the extra uh, speed multiplier and the maximum multiplier as well so Hothead and Slippery for those of you that like drift events there's also plain ones as well air race ones here we go and drag race as well but the one that I really like as well is the skilled thing that you can put your legend points into. Increases the scoring by 0.25% each time. And um, that's literally accessible on all feats, which is good for summits because obviously, as you know, there are at least three feats to do or three skills to do in the summit. And if you can get this, you can increase your score, obviously allowing you to get to that platinum and gold reward much much easier so for everyone I think they should go for skilled but if you like plane events more or drift events more pick the drift or plane event ones but I think skilled is the perfect all rounder anyway that has been me going over the legend parts and pretty much explaining what they do and how effective they are but like I said this is my personal opinion and also they're not overly overpowered like I've said so if you are contemplating which one to put it on just split it in half it's not going to make too much of a difference in your gameplay experience but just put them on nonetheless but if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next video